Alright, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading December 30th to uh, January 5th, 2019, uh, 2020, excuse me guys. And uh, if you do want to get in touch with me, uh, you're going to find a link to my website listed into the, into the description down below and uh, from which website you know you can order a, a personal reading as well so that being said uh, we're gonna move straight away into the spread now okay so the first card which stands as a topic of your love and relationship week here Libra is going to be the eight of cups followed by the energies that are feeding up this um, topic we do have three of pentacles uh, further by the challenges that you will have to overcome here that is to be the six uh, the five of swords afterwards what we do have it is the gifts and the blessings that this week is going to offer you in terms of love and relationship that is to be the eight of wands the uh, fifth card here it is how other people see you and we do have the seven of pentacles followed by the sixth card which points to what is going to help your long-term love and relationship go and that is to be the seven of wands and these cards are speaking for themselves here uh the seventh card is going to be what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal that is to be the uh, page of swords and the final one here uh which stands as the guidance that Tsaru is offering that is to be the uh, hierophant card so um it's a, a week of a turning point for what it seems uh, for you and your love life i mean in a positive way so uh, in either way, it's going to be a positive way for you. So these two cards here are talking about that um, a better perspectives or a better times for your love and relationship life are to happen throughout the week. OK, so um, with the eight of cups, it's like a new fresh wind is going to simply infiltrate into the, into the relationship. And under fresh wind, I mean new emotional heights. Um, it's kind of like a, uh, a new circumstances as well that are going to revive your slumbered emotions and your slumbered feelings, the slumbered emotions and feelings of your person of interest, of your partner as well. My point here is that those two cards are pointing that a better uh, circumstances and better situations perspective are in front of uh, your situation this week, December 30th to December um no, to January 5th but the energies this is also very important what is feeding these change of circumstances that fresh wind that comes around well the cooperation so um, uh, I am imagining it that way you know something happened recently and you are mad at your partner you are mad at your person of interest you don't want to see them now you're trying to punish them with something that is exactly what you should not do guys I mean cooperation interaction being together it is aiming to spend as much time as possible to talk about the things of life because none relationship it's going smoothly I mean it has ups and downs and these things need to be spoken for objectively what I mean is that now this week it's time that you display your um, aggravation or where that aggravation comes from all right your exhilaration as well where that exhilaration comes from and that that is also um, applies for your person of interest and partner as well so it's kind of like talking openly for yourself and for your expectation uh, expectations and you are going to be surprised that actually common ground is to be uh, reached and as soon as that common ground is to be reached it is from where you know the fresh wind that kind of like blows away the I don't know how to say it the the, the fume of um, the dark fume of um, of poisoning is gonna come around 
So the next card here uh, stands for the uh, once again, uh, one second, uh, stands for the challenges that you need to overcome, and that is the Five of Swords. So uh, it's pretty self-explanatory here in this follow-up. It does speak for the unyielding standpoint to have it exactly the way you want it, but you need to know what that card points. It is that if you want to uh, fix your relationship or to make relationship happen or to improve a relationship, it needs to serve goodness for both sides not just for you, all right? So the card points here that you are gonna find it challenging to be reasonable with the, not demands, but with the requests and as well with the, um, with the arguments that the other party comes around with, all right? And uh, another thing that is gonna be challenging as well is to, uh, how can I say it? Mm. Stop trusting rumors, okay? Most likely what is poisoning your relationship, it is um, a, a third party, and we can see that into the uh, further cards where the page of pentacle, uh, where the page of swords resides. But yeah, it's uh, kind of like it's gonna be challenging for you to um, trust your healthy sense of mistrust, not to trust what everybody else aside of that relationship or interactions is talking about. So the other card here stands for uh, gifts and the blessings. And we do have the Eight of Wands. In this particular case, the Eight of Wands gives you the gift and the blessing to try it many times. I mean, to uh, have uh, circumstances such arranged so you can have your openings to spend time with that person to say what you want to say and all these kind of stuff. So you are not going to be deprived from opportunities uh, to uh, display yourself. It is what my point is with these uh, gifts and blessings. But those who are single as well, um, they will have the gift and the blessing of, um, how can I say it? Uh, showing their true nature in front of the right person who is going to truly value their uh, their true nature as well. The other card, it is uh, how other people sees you, and that is the Seven of Pentacles. This is not very, how can I say it, um, not very decisive or determined car i don't know how to say it. well this is how people are going to see you they're going to see you as a, a person who does not know what's what to do now or unpredictable they're going to see you unpredictable it is like your partner may start uh, kind of fantasizing that you are on the verge of living them. Your person of interest may fantasize that you, you know, you kind of gave up on that interaction and so on and so forth because people are gonna see you on the verge of making a, an important decision should you make it or break it. People are gonna see you as a, a person who tries to find value or tries to analyze, is it really worth going on with that marriage, with that relationship, you know, with this endeavor with that interaction and etc etc people are going to see you as a, someone who is trying to find the reason to move on with um, with this current situation of the love life and relationship life so the other card here points what you can do in order to help your long-term love and relationship goal libra and that is going to be the seven of wands fight for what you love. It's as simple as that, okay, with this card. I mean, you have to guard your relationship. You need to defend your relationship. You need to uh, stand your ground against the competition and against the malicious intentions because God knows you do have a people with malicious intentions towards your love life and towards your relationship life. And that is seen here in the Page of Swords. Now, that is an individual around you who is spreading nasty rumors. Um, it's kind of like it's trying to clean or simply say, break, break what you do have with your person of interest or with your partner, with your wife or a husband, it is just, it's hurting the relationship. Now they're close to you and they are feeling your mind and your um, 
yeah, your thoughts, I would say, with these futuristic impressions that everything is gonna be okay, okay, uh, all right, and uh, what really obstructs you from everything that is gonna be okay, it is your relationship, it is your person of interest, it is your marriage. So pretty much that person encourages you to clean what you have, or rather like to abandon, to walk away, to destroy, to remove is the word that I'm searching for, to remove from your life what you, uh, what situation you do face here in this week, December 30th to uh, January 5th, 2019. Needless to say, you don't need their help, you don't need their advice, you don't need their thoughts, you just you can scale and scope on your own accord. Are you happy with the one you are with or with the one you wanna be with or are you not? And the uh, last card here, it stands as the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Libra. We do have the Hierophant card. So the Hierophant card, it's pretty self-explanatory. First of all, urges once again to speak openly about yourself, about your expectations, you know, about uh, about your demands as well and about how you are imagining the things to happen from now on. But also the Hierophant says that whatever predicament you are facing, whatever plight does reside into your interaction or into your relationship, can and should be resolved and the resolution lies into the existing framework of, uh, of relationship matters. Okay, it's just you need to talk about it. Also, the card urges, especially those in marriage that are facing problems in between each other, go to a couple of therapists. This is for sure going to help you. But the, this card points that everything is to happen into the already established patterns, already established rules, and you don't have to reinvent the wheel. That being said, if this is an interaction, you can't just jump into marriage straight away. I mean, you have to start dating, you need to start uh, going out, okay? You need to jump into a relationship, then move in together, then get engaged, then get married, then have children and so on and so forth. Everything has its um, its follow-up or its pattern and that pattern needs to be kept. You can't cut any corners here. But above everything else is a guidance. The true love comes on a foundation of trust. If you don't trust the person you love, then it's time for you to move on. If you do trust them unconditionally, that is, well, then it's worth, this is something that it, it is worth fighting for. So that being said, Libro, this was your uh, weekly love and relationship tarot reading, guys, for a um, December 30th to January 4th, uh, 5th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, in case you do want to get in touch with me, uh, you're going to find the link to my website down in the description below and uh, from which you can schedule a private reading. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.